gold medal winner of the day for the rudest senator of the day, senator of the day, goes to White House, Sheldon Whitehouse, who could not have been uh, more obnoxious to Judge Kavanaugh, who's, again, you feel free to disagree with him. That's fine. Vote against him. You don't have to be a jerk. Well, Senator Whitehouse didn't take my advice on that and started asking him about hypothetical cases that may appear before him if Judge Kavanaugh is, in fact, confirmed to the Supreme Court which is a big no-no. Of course, you're not going to talk about cases that would appear before you if you don't have the details behind those cases. This is a precedent that's been observed by judges all the way back to Ruth Bader Ginsburg and prior. So what happens? Watch this video here where White House, in an ever-obnoxious form, tries to pin Kavanaugh down on a hypothetical, knowing full well he's not supposed to answer the question, and Kavanaugh, of course, easily swats him away again conditions. So to, pre- to prepare for this moment, I went back and read. I really would like you to be as careful with your time as you can, because I have a very limited amount of time with you. So the quicker you can get to the answer, I, it's, it could be as simple as yes or no. But I can uh, uh, enhance your understanding of my answer if I explain it, I think. I really just want your answer on the record. I think I'm pretty capable of understanding it on my own. But, well, then everyone to understand uh, my answer. So there's, a, there's nominee precedent of how justices and nominees in my position have answered in the past. I'll, I'll be succinct if I can. Ju- and I went back. Justice Thurgood Marshall was asked repeatedly in his hearing, what do you think about Miranda? What do you think about Miranda? What do you think about Miranda? Got it. Everybody else does it, and your answer is still no. So the reason everyone else does it, though, is rooted in judicial independence and my respect for precedent. So it's a combination of my respect for precedent, nominee precedent, and my respect for judicial independence. So I can't give assurances on a specific hypothetical. Okay, thank you. You know, when I first started doing uh, mixed martial arts, which I really enjoy, I learned a valuable lesson. The best way not to lose a fight to a guy who's better than you is not to get in it. Now, Sheldon Whitehouse clearly didn't take my advice when it comes to intellectual sparring. Uh, This guy, Brett Kavanaugh, is clearly a heavyweight. Whitehouse, again, is a lightweight at best. Uh, Tries to pin him down on precedent, of course, not realizing that justices, as he said, back to Thurgood Marshall, have refused to answer these questions because they're ridiculous. You cannot hypothesize on how you would rule on a case that doesn't, in fact, exist. You would think that would be obvious. White House apparently thought he was dealing with uh, a, a minor league intellect and didn't realize he was dealing with the Rod Carew of contact hitters in Brett Kavanaugh. Nice job.